You said something earlier um, when we were speaking about how our proprioception and sensory um, appreciation of the universe changes as we age. Um, now that I'm over 50, mm. what, what's, what's changed in my uh, sensory apparatus yeah. of the foot? We talked earlier about um, how falls are, are prevalent and how there's really factors that contribute to these falls. We know one, we've talked about this, is a weakness in toe strength. That changes, and I think the numbers are like a 35% decline in strength, right? Over if, what period of time? That's a good question. Um, I'm not sure. Um, when you look but at... between presumably something young and something old. Correct. And especially, there's a very big change when you look at the jump from 50 to 80, for example. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the 35% decline right in those ranges. So not only does strength decrease, but we have four different types of receptors, a couple fast adapting and some slow adapting receptors. They're responsible for gaining information so that we can maintain our center of mass, for example. As we get older, so let's start at age 50, you lose 20%. It takes 20% more pressure to stimulate these receptors. Now versus when I was 20. Correct. So as we age, the sensitivity of the receptors decreases. Now here's where it gets a little scary. When we go from 50 to 85, at 85, we now have 75% decreased sensitivity to these receptors. That's a What's lot. What's driving that? I think it is a lack of strength at the foot because here's the good news. Exercise, we know, increases circulation to the sensory nerves. So we, if we exercise, we're going to have increased circulation to our sensory system. We have increased nerve fiber branching when that happens. With increased nerve fiber branching, we have increased sensation. And that has been found to decrease pain and improve sensation, even in patients with peripheral neuropathies. So maintaining strength and function at your foot, I think obviously will decrease the decline of toe strength, but also increase the um, ability for us to feel the ground, which is imperative from being able to walk upright and being able to prevent us from falling. And this sensory decline how much of it is superficial, you know, meaning you can test it and assess it using the standard metrics of, you know, like take an alcohol pad or a cotton swab on the, you know, cutaneous branches and how much of it is much deeper. I mean, I, I'm guessing more of it is this deep part that is dependent on significant pressure or, but I don't really understand. There's a, um, I, I did bring it to, there's a 256, uh, frequency, uh, vibration tool. Okay. And what you can do is you'll have the patient laying down and you take this uh, 256 tool and I'll tap it on the ground, right? And I'll put it on the base of their heel. Mm. And you get three chances, right? You're, you're changing what you're doing. And can they pick up the vibration? And it's, it's actually the um, accuracy of that test has been shown to be um, more accurate than the, like the nylon you know, pricking of the foot. Interesting. And I think it's, it's an easy so assessment. Vib that we yeah. Can do. Vibrational sensation is, and, and by the way, that, that's, that makes sense. Cause that strikes me as a more complete form of sensation than, cause the nylon thing is mostly cutaneous. Mm. 